All right, Austin, again, east side dominating Class 6A. As Steve said, three out of the four of the semifinalists are from the east side. Let's start off with Jinx, number one ranked number one ranked for a reason. Yeah, yeah, they are, and they're, they're really clicking. They're doing well. Sawyer Cole Morgan has uh, thrown 36 touchdowns, only two picks this year. I mean, this guy is awesome. He, he is really lighting it up this year, having a great year. Past Mark Ginther, uh, regarded as probably the best quarterback ever to come out of Jinx, and uh, in Union now. Uh, Kale Pearson getting healthy, starting to roll along. Here's what happens. Jinx dyes her hair, ha dyes her hair blonde, and Union starts wearing black. That's that's what happens when it gets in the playoffs, and that's what happens to get these two teams to the state championships with their, they're probably favored to do again in, in, in 2010. Yeah, as you said, of course, we're down to the final four and, and Union and Jinx is always favored, but kind of break down the semifinal matchups well, for us. I, I think more than anything, uh, Owasso is a, kind of a Cinderella team. Uh, gets another big win in Westmore. Joe Lindsay is really carrying that team on his back. They've got a hurdle to get over Jinx. I haven't beat them in a long time. Uh, Lawton and Union, this is going to be an interesting game because Union's got to go over to the west side and play at a neutral site uh, against Lawton, a really good team. I mean, we've seen that Lawton is just, they haven't been beaten this year and they've really tested uh, some good teams and then you saw them take care of Broken Arrow. Really handedly and broken our main mistakes and they took advantage of it. Lot and high, the West Side's only hope, only mm -hmm. hope to end a streak of since 1995. 1995 was the last time a West Side team has won Class 6A state title.